Welcome back. You're still watching Nile TV International and uh, the special coverage of the participation of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi at uh, the 76th session of uh, the United Nations General Assembly gatherings and uh, more specifically the session or the summit on uh, food security as uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. We did just see the speech of His Excellency President al-Sisi focusing on food security in Egypt, within the country and uh, within the region and Africa in uh, specific as uh, the uh, President Assisi has said that the danger of uh, famine uh, is facing all of us, all of the countries and all of the governments and uh, the, uh, it is facing the danger of uh, famine, it is facing the possibility of um, executing and implementing the goals of uh, sustainable development in different fields and sectors. President Assisi uh, also stated that uh, within the speech through the video conference or the via video conference uh, through the participation of uh, the summit of food security at the United Nations General Assembly that this summit is uh, being held at a very specific timing and the very hard time for all the people all over the planning, uh, planet and uh, it demands the heads of governments, the heads of states and uh, the private sector, the NGOs, the civil society organizations to be having more efforts uh, to be facing those compound challenges that we have uh, to face. President Assisi also stated that uh, to be having a food security system sustainable food security system. It leads us to uh, the food security that we aim for, for our society, for our country, and it comes on top of the agenda, on top of the priorities for the Egyptians, for the Africans, and for the uh, people in the region, specifically uh, during the times of uh, climate change. The uh, climate change, as uh, President Assisi has mentioned, it um, it affects the agricultural lands, it affects the temperatures, not just in the country, but in the region, in Africa, and it leads to poverty and it leads to hunger, the hunger and the danger of uh, famine. Even climate change, President Assisi has mentioned that it could be leading to uh, political conflicts in different uh, parts of uh, the planet, mentioning uh, at the same time that the uh, danger of famine it uh, is um, reaching to all over the world and specifically in Africa, in the African uh, continent. Uh, President Assisi has um, mentioned or has um, demanded through the summit to be having effective solutions, fast solutions, rapid solutions to be saving millions of people mostly women and children, adding that the hunger uh, and the danger of famine is um, affecting the um, states and the governments and the people's ambitions to be reaching their goals of sustainable development in different sectors. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi stated that Egypt from a very long time or from a very early stage has or have uh, has had the awareness of uh, having a food security system uh, to be having more ideas and to be and to be having more ideas and uh, solutions for the current challenges president assisi also stated through the video conference and uh, during his participation at the summit of food security at the 76th the United Nations General Assembly that this summit today is an opportunity to be having more cooperation internationally and to be having more funds to be facing the uh, challenges of food security. And right now we have over the phone Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, the uh, political analyst and uh, the uh, former foreign minister Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, the former assistant foreign minister, can you hear me? 
أمباسر الجمال بيومي أمباسر الجمال بيومي the former assistant foreign minister can you hear me hello Mr. Ambassador can you hear me now yes I can hear you yes, thank you very much for being with us on uh, Nile TV International and the special coverage of uh, the speech of uh, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi for such an important summit at uh, the United Nations General Assembly and the 76th session on food security. How did you see the participation of President Assisi and the speech of His Excellency? Very important and it, it goes with our priorities also. Yes. Because Egypt is lucky uh, being uh, one of the most attractive countries for foreign direct investment. Mm. But we still have uh, the priority here is not what we are seeking. The investors come, uh, come for uh, invest on services, uh, tourism like tourism, like uh, uh, banking uh, services and so on. Now, by 80% of our investment coming to Egypt is uh, on services. 9% only for uh, industry, 2% yes. is going to the food security. And mm. we, we need to change this, of course, especially if we know that uh, Africa, especially Sudan, uh, is full of uh, land where we can possibly use it for uh, planting what we need of our uh, cereals or any uh, food we need. So, uh, and uh, Egypt is exploring its, all its efforts all over Africa since decades, since Gamal Abdel Nasser and Salah Hidayat, who went yes. to Nigeria, to Cameroon, to Sudan, to Somalia, and they have plenty of land, but they need finance in order to plant their food. And this is the, the, the new target we are seeking now, not only for Africa, but also in the Arab world, because the Arab world is importing almost half of its need of food. Uh, here in Egypt, as you well know, we are a good exporter of uh, vegetables and oranges, and now we are the largest exporter of those things to Europe. Yes. But, uh, our main uh, need to cereal and wheat for bread uh, is highly needed in, in order to make our bread. Mm. So, all these are our uh, uh, programs to come, all our needs, and uh, the, the president is explaining all of this, and uh, our presidency during uh, the chairmanship of Egypt to the uh, African Union, yes. we succeed to convince our partners in Europe and China and in Japan to finance more and more investments and projects, especially in the agriculture sector with the Egyptian experience. So if we succeed to do that, I think this will be a great help for our uh, food needs and for Africa and for the future, of course, of the relations between Africa and its main partners in the uh, developed countries. Yes, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, as uh, we did see during the speech of uh, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi at the Food Security Summit, um, President Assisi had always mentioned Africa, the brothers in Africa, the cooperation uh, with the uh, African continent. Uh, how do you see um, the relations between Egypt and the African continent under the tenure of President Assisi and how have they uh, been enhanced in the past seven or eight years? I was just discussing this couple of days ago yes. with 40 high generals from 30 African countries at Nasser Academy. Yes. And really they are uh, keen to approach it more and more. And we were saying that Egypt is one of the most acceptable face in Africa yes. because of the uh, past history since uh, decades, since the Pharaonic period where we have visited the east and the west uh, coast of Africa. There are tribes in deep in Africa who can tell you they are proud that they have uh, Egyptian origin. 
Yes. But recently in our recent history, of course, Africa uh, uh, appreciate very much what Egypt, Jamal Abdel Nasser, did for their independence. And then uh, Egypt's Botros Ghali, who, who knows all the names of the high uh, leaders of Africa. So we are very accepted uh, country in the whole Africa. Yes. The problem is that since uh, more than 20 years, uh, and because the, uh, the incident while they were trying to assassinate President Mubarak in Addis Ababa, yes. since then, we, for security reasons and other reasons, of course, we stopped going on the presidential level to Africa. And even uh, it was very rare that we received African uh, leaders. But we were there as ambassadors, as embassies, as ministers. But of course, the, uh, what we call the uh, diplomacy of summits and diplomacy of presidential level is very really important because there you have a president uh, uh, in a meeting. Uh, behind him, you will see five, six, eight ministers who can take decisions immediately. And this is what exactly... Yes. Our president is doing lately. So he went everywhere. He went to countries nobody can imagine he can live there. I was, by the way, um, ambassador, non-residence ambassador in uh, Equatorial Guinea because yes. it was impossible to live there. Uh, uh, president Sisi went to Equatorial Guinea with the Arab constructor. He, he established an embassy, and now we have a charming lady as our ambassador in Malabo. Yes. Uh, this is what he, he, he did recently. And mm -hmm. uh, Africa nominated Egypt to represent the, uh, con the continent in the Security Council in the year 2019 also. So uh, all what we need is to do some of our homework to help Africa for the infrastructure, for uh, attracting more investment for the projects we need, both of us, and uh, it's not, by the way, uh, an easy task. We have to uh, mobilize all our efforts in order to succeed in this uh, concern, but it is not that difficult or it's not impossible at all. Yes, uh, during the speech, President Assisi also spoke about the danger of uh, famine, and this could be affecting uh, the possibility of reaching sustainable development goals for all the uh, governments all over Africa and all over the world. How do you see uh, the Egyptian steps to be evading uh, the danger of famine in Egypt, in the region, and in the continent? The whole world is behind this, and... You, you can see what is, was going on in Somalia or some countries where people are, are fighting each other. Yes. And one problem, maybe uh, as Egyptians, we do not uh, understand it, uh, uh, which is a common problem in Africa. In Egypt, if you are from Alexandria or I am from Aswan, we are Egyptians. Yes. In Africa, it's not the case. Mm. Tribes are... Uh, very uh, having an uh, impact on uh, its people. And if you ask any uh, African from where you are, he, he wouldn't tell you it is Nigeria or Cameroon. He will be uh, telling you that the tribe he belongs to. Yes. So uh, then they are fighting each other. Then production of food or any production is uh, in danger. That's why we are helping those countries in order to feed them. Why, unfortunately, or fortunately, as a matter of fact, we can plant that. i give you one example. When I, I was ambassador in Cameroon, yes. Cameroon is half the area of Egypt. But 95% mm. uh, of Cameroon, you can uh, cultivate and plant uh, whatever you need. But they yes. do not use the whole land. They need finance. They need experience. And that's why what we are trying to do, and I hope we succeed in this, in order to, of course, to avoid the seventh problem, and I think we can do that. Yes, President Assisi also spoke about uh, climate change and how it affects Africa and the world, saying that uh, it could be leading to higher temperatures, to desertification, affecting the agricultural lands, 
as an Egyptian citizen, how did you see the efforts of uh, the Egyptian government under the tenure of uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and the political leadership to be fighting climate change in Egypt, first of all, and um, having the same or replicating the same experience in Africa? We are uh, doing a beautiful job, as a matter of fact, lately. Yes. We're changing all our cars from the liquid fuel to the gas and from the gas to electricity. We are doing whatever it takes in order to make our life much better. We are now uh, producing electricity from uh, the solar system, so we are not uh, burning uh, fuel. Yes. Uh, many things Egypt is doing. The problem on the, on the world level is that the most industrialized countries are doing bad to the environment namely uh, United States and China. Yes. And they are not abide to the rules and the measures which can make our environment uh, better because it costs money. And of course here you have the effect of the businessmen in order to stop any law which would make them spend uh, uh, on changing all the bad ways of production. Take Egypt since decades. We, we, we realize that, uh, for instance, the cement industry in Helwan was affecting our uh, air. Yes. So we put filters mm -hmm. on the uh, exhausts of yes. uh, those uh, uh, factories, and now we, we, we live normally. Many efforts Egypt is doing, although it costs money, but we want to convince the, the leaders of the uh, world industry to, to do the same. And it's not easy, it's a matter of uh, cost, it's a matter of the uh, effect of the industry on the governments. But we have to continue uh, ringing the bells because really it's, all, uh, it's not affecting the country who's polluting our air, it, it comes everywhere. So we, we should continue without hesitation and most of the world, especially the third world are uh, pushing there and we shall continue mm -hmm. helping ourselves to uh, convince those who are polluting our environment to change these policies. Yes, during the speech, President Assisi also mentioned uh, the food security in Egypt and the efforts exerted in Egypt as one of the main priorities for the country and for the continent, speaking that and saying that we have had a societal dialogue between the government, between uh, the uh, civil society organizations and the private sector to be reaching food security uh, ever since December 2020. How did you see um, the vision of uh, the country to be knowing that there would be a problem speci especially or specifically after the coronavirus pandemic and uh, to be evading such a problem before happening in Egypt and quite possibly in the region and in the continent? As a matter of fact, we are uh, lucky in, in this concern. Yes. Because before the epidemic started in 2019, we started our economic reform in November 2016. Yes. So when the epidemic came, we were already ready for any problem like that. That's why now you will find that Egypt is one of very rare countries, few number of countries will continue its development and its growth positively. Yes. Uh, contrary to uh, big countries who are now uh, the, 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 the growth rate there is, is minus. This experience we are uh, trying to uh, exchange it with our uh, friends and our neighbors. And of course we should continue like that. As of food, of course we uh, spend a lot of time in order to uh, enlarge our capacity to produce agricultural products. Now you have uh, extra one million uh, and uh, uh, one million and a half million of feathers yes. newly uh, established. We are uh, doing quite good in the fishery industry. We are doing in this concern quite a lot, and we should continue. Also, we are exploring the idea of 
making uh, our farms in Sudan, in uh, Iraq, in any other Arab country who can uh, cooperate with us because our uh, farmers were uh, really doing quite a good job uh, two decades ago in Iraq. Let us continue mm. this and uh, the food security, whether for Egypt or for the Arab region, we can uh, face uh, easily. And with, with such huge projects we are uh, establishing it on the Egyptian soil also, I think we, we, we shall go ahead in order to make sure that our food security is maintained. And I think we, now, now uh, it's, it's not a problem at all for most of us. But I, uh, here I, I must stress that I want to make sure that before going to sleep that every Egyptian has his dinner before I go to bed. Yes. Uh, I mean, the, the, the justice in distributing our income is very important also. Yes, food security uh, is of uh, paramount importance for the country, for the Egyptian citizens, for the citizens of Africa and for the region. But uh, President Assisi also spoke about uh, an opportunity that is taking place today during this summit of uh, food security for international cooperation. How do you see the importance of international cooperation for Egypt? during such uh, a conference and such a summit, as well as uh, finding the possible funds for uh, attaining food security in Egypt and for Africa. This match is what the Egyptian uh, initiative since a uh, few years, who, who, when the president asked our uh, uh, friends in, in, in Europe, and they agree with China and with Japan, to finance food security in Africa with Egyptian experience. We have a long experience in agriculture, and as I, as I said before, we are very acceptable place in Africa. Another uh, dimension that our experience uh, doesn't cost a lot, like if you bring uh, experts from uh, Europe or from the America. Uh, so uh, a combination between our experience and the uh, African land with European or Japanese or Chinese finance, this, this will be a good start to solve this problem. Yes, and uh, finally, uh, President Assisi mentioned the school children and the importance of providing healthy meals and the healthy lifestyle for the school children in Egypt. Uh, we have seen this important topic um, as of great importance for President Abdel Fattah Hassisi in the past um, period or the past years for uh, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi. Uh, how do you see the importance of concentrating on the healthy? lifestyle for the children, healthy food system and food security for the school children in specific? I must stress this. This is one of my dreams. Yes. I lived my primary school in Damietta and my secondary school where we were having two meals during the day. Yes. Early at 11, a uh, light meal of uh, cheese and uh, bread. Then we have uh, the main uh, uh, meal at lunch at, uh, at uh, 3 o'clock with vegetables, meat, uh, soup, uh, fruits, even uh, some sweets. Yes. It was highly, highly organized. And uh, I, I, I am glad to tell you that some students were coming to, to the school because of this. Because yes. at their houses they do not eat like that. Some children were taking some of the food they can find during the lunch or uh, uh, the breakfast we, we got in order to give this to their families. So yes. I am highly supporting such an idea. Whatever it costs, we should give it a, a huge priority because it is for our children, the soldiers of the future for us. Yes. Yes, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, the former assistant uh, foreign minister, thank you very much for being with us on uh, Nile TV International.